Athena versus Incineroar? Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, yeah, this is going to be a matchup to witness. Yeah, I can pretty much tell you right off the bat, like, he's going to do everything he can to space out Incineroar and try not to get poked, give him, like, a free revenge right off the bat. Yeah, he's losing too much stage. He's doing these dash-ins already, but he's getting punished by uh, Berg with no no problem whatsoever. So you have to just, if you if he's going to have the stage and space himself in or now, he's got to make sure he does it correctly and not dash in a little too fast to Berg because right there is 71 already, and Berg has the stage just for a slight misspacing in his dash-ins. Oh, okay. That was a really bold read on the roll, but he's somehow actually able to escape it. And uh, this is pretty much where, like, the big struggle in Finance Center is, like, once he gets, like, stage control, you kind of have to deal with whatever he throws. Even, like, running away is still kind of playing into his hands. But Correct. Wow, a clean percentage lead here by Berg. We all know that one command grab will do it. Tofi, regardless of the disadvantage state he's been in, he has stayed pretty aggressive, though. Their hitboxes are coming out at the right time. Is he going to be able to turn around right here? Well, he's got like the edge. He tried to challenge the up B, but barely hang it on. Well. I feel like that may have killed if he was charging the smash, but thankfully gets it out in time. That's going to be a straight up the top. Berg already with a stock lead. This is normally what he likes to see. This is the game he likes to be in right here. Okay, trying to get the little, trying to get like a ledge trap right there, but Berg's able to slip out. Like he kind of have to pick your spots very carefully because. Incineroar thrives off aggression and confrontation. And just like that, he's able to get a bunch of damage from the command grab. And right there, showing no comp, showing no fear off stage and trying to get yep, something. Exactly. And he's still able to get Playing with no like fear, like you said, and he's able to gimp him off of that. Just, I mean, Tofi's really got to push his advantage when he does get it. Like, there's a lot of mistakes Berg is making there neutral. He is whiffing, you know, he is human, but Tofi seems to be at the wrong spot at the right time in order to be able to capitalize and get the more damage he needs. Oh, okay, another command grab, but it catches a little bit of a lucky break. I, oh, no, okay. Try to get the up here. Like, he's got to get rid of this stock as soon as possible. Roll but in from Tofi. Drops the shield a little too early, but is able to turn it around. Landing and hitting an up smash. Scooping him up. This is looking like a little bit more of a doable game here, but he's still got a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, base, Yeah, again, like, Berg's doing really got to keep him in the corner. And when Revenge is up, warning bells are going to go off. Yeah, cornered is a great description here. Oh, no. Might be finding his way out. He Turns it around as well. But he oh. does have Revenge, though. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, like he's actually able to get like the head where you can't, where the neutral B won't armor through it. And he's getting now all these clean Now his sword hits. is at the right spot and his sword is coming out at the right time. It is looking a lot better for Tofi here. It may have been an adaptation done a little too late though. No, I still believe like it's still possible, especially with a character that's consistent and Ooh. gets kills like that. Exactly. He's not letting him recover safely at all. That's what you got to do against big characters like this. You can't let them get any mileage, and you got to push their disadvantage as far as you can. Uh-oh, uh -oh, but that might be the end. Yep, that's going to go for Berg. Swipes him in the guy. It's over there. But, I mean, he's still got a ban and another game to play with. Yeah, like, I'm going to be curious to see who Tofi has in the back. Because, like I said, pretty much any sortie you got in this game, he Does knows he how to play. Does he play Pyro Um, maybe not so much them, but... Yeah, oh, Ooh, okay, uh, now we're going spacing to the extreme. Yeah, well, he's going to have to be immaculate with that spacing because two or three neutral interactions from Incinero are going to grant him a kill with a command grab. It's, yep. It is a pretty even matchup, what I dare to say. Uh, it's going to be a very flop side of result with interactions because uh, you've gone from like a light character to an even lighter character. Did you see that though? Did you see what he tried to do? Like count, get revenge off of the side B that Sephiroth did? That's going to end up playing pretty big if he can get the timing consistently. Yeah, like Sephiroth is really good at creating spots where you are hard pressed to find the right answer. And the big thing that Tilfi has to do right now is set the pace against Berg. And he is doing that in spades with a stock like that. One technical flub from Berg trying to dot platform but failing to do so and then side being on it rather ends up getting him killed. This is a comfortable lead for Tofi right now. This is a very comfortable lead and Tofi is like, like if you thought his micro spacing was good before, now you're playing the character who's like thrives off that micro spacing. Look at that. And the moment he does get close, Tofi knowing his fast option, knowing to just go in for the grab before Incineroar is able to pull anything out, holds onto the stage control it cleanly. 
Yeah, like, even then, like, most of us usually just want his basic Zell, but Tofi is, again, not afraid to... Confident in his pacing, confident in his decisions, and he's able to get, like, big conversions like that, or just threaten Berg into, like, holding shield. Here he is at dangerous percent. So Sephiroth's side B, when it initially hits you, does it give you hit stun, or is it just giving you the... It um, is a very brief hit stun, brief but the hit orbs stun will as well. show up. So, and is it safe on hit, do you know? Not if you're super close, and they mm, have okay. a fast option. I feel like that would be, that would and could be a pretty big factor in this matchup as Berg is able to get the timing on the side Bs in order to get revenge off of them. All right, just now pushing the corner to keep. Now it's Tofi's turn to keep Berg cornered and pinned. And he tried to go with the spike attempt right there. But that's okay, though. One Look wing, at that. The wing is active. I like the patience. Oh, no. Oh, you're just dead. He is just dead. That He is three stocks up. I mean... This is looking like a hard time for Berg here. He, I love the patience you see from Tofi, even though, I mean, he's dead right there, but even though he, like, whiffs a little bit, he might overcommit while he's edge guarding. He knows that he's able to retreat and use his character's, like, long sword, the longest in the game, pretty much, to, like, keep the pressure up from center stage and keep himself safe. And on that note, he's just, again, just resetting Look at that. Spot. He knows when to retreat. It's just... A clean edge trap, like ledge guard, oh, he's not right. able to get out. Great, great coverage on the upbeat. Counter will not get the kill. That was a rather anticlimactic counter. I thought I'd have way more mock back. Uh, oh, okay. Speaking of like a revenge attempt right there. Tried to get a little something off blade dash. Oh, uh oh. We might have a little bit of problem if Berg is able to get a grab. Oh, he's landing. Oh, he didn't pull the backer out initially. That was scary. Could have gotten punished there for it. He's pulling him out now, though, but Berg is ready for the power shield. He's getting in. He's in his space. He's making him feel uncomfortable. That's going to hurt. It. Oh, yeah. Barely just killing. <laughs> Sephiroth is that Ooh. light. Uncomfortable is a very nice way to put it. Tofi not sitting with as much control as he was at the beginning of the game right here. Oh, and he's got revenge again. He's got revenge, but he's also got this kill potentially. Barely, but it's Berg's got to find a way out of this corner. No, sir. This man has been through a, a previous evolution. He's been a long way. He's chunky. He's not dying quite yet. Oh, all right. But all that giant hitbox serves in. Giga Flare going to take the jump. It is barely wow. not. That, that, that didn't take him anywhere. Yeah, like the very edges of Giga Flare will... Dude, get... I'm so scared for Tofi. I mean, he, he is in control right now, dominantly. That's it. All right. There we go. You had to seal it there. It takes it cleanly. Hey, maybe the Sephiroth was the correct pick. Yeah, this is like, the last thing you want to play fight is like a Sephiroth who is not just confident in spacing, but confident in decision making. For sure. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. That's what it looked like from Tofi right there. He was never, even though sometimes he was retreating, he was never losing. Yeah, like, there was no fear. Like, both of these players play with no fear. And now it's like all their strengths are like amplified too. Yeah, no fear is a good way to put it. He jumped off and tried to revenge and like Incineroar just went straight down like an anvil, like almost got himself killed there. I hope I see him go for that again though. I like the idea. I messed with the vision. And we are headed to small battlefield. Oh, look at that. Even the game is favoring Tofi. It's his theme playing right now. <laughs> oh, and he's got all three. Is he going to revenge him? Nope, chooses to be aggressive, ends up paying dearly for it. 60% Tofi coming back with a clean lead, and he has a ledge. He's got the ledge, and he's just got big stage to play Wowie, with. Wowie, this is comical, seeing like Incineroar try to like like run in. like He's just not fast enough to get in. And he's Look got at that, that big hitbox to play with, too, so spacing around is a little easier, too. But I do like the confidence on every play Tofi does. I like, like take... I liked it earlier when Berg was going for more power shields and when he was like holding a center stage a little more. He seems to be like committing to like the flashy stuff a little too much, which I mean he did get the lead right there. Don't get me wrong, amazingly does what Incineroar does best, but I feel like he could be performing it with a lot less percentage taken on him. Oh, all right, all right. Berg's feeling himself getting all 20. the all the right reads right now for Berg. That's a third of a stock. If we go by how early he's taking those stocks, that's a third of a stock right there. Oh, on small battlefield too. Okay, Giga Flare to try to cover the ledge. <laughs> oh, he'll gladly take the gimp from Giga Flare. <laughs> yeah, like the side, like the edges of the blast zone are super weird because that's where the, that's where Giga Flare is weakest, and if you fall out, you get weird stuff like that. 
Like I say there, Tofi retreating. Retreating a little bit too far, though, and Berg taking full advantage of that. Now he's got him in a tough position. I mean, he may be, you may look at it as him, like, overcommitting with some of his options, but, like, at the end of the day... Uh -oh. Oh, oh, the big hurt box coming back to haunt him because it just clipped him on the back of the head. Really? What did he click? Revenge again? Is that what that move is? Oh, no. He just got him with up smash. Boosted up smash. That was it. Oh, oh. wow. I, I literally left me speechless. He disappeared him. He disappeared him, and he's got a strong lead now. Oh, uh, oh, okay. He's, this is basically Tofi's last stand, because now he's the one getting cornered, and he cannot afford a, a miscalculation. Look at that. More power shields. Now he seems to have his head a little more clear now that he's got this lead. He's, like, able to deal with Sephiroth's aggression a little better. Oh, but wow. Tofi, knowing it, just running in to grab when he needs to. He has a stage now. Yeah, he's got to challenge that. That Flair, Giga Flair won't be happening on time, but you see this that is fast still a adaptation. Big, it's Berg still, taking the high and like grabbing the ledge like so much faster to avoid the fire. This is also like a race against time for Tofi as well because after a while Wing's gonna go away, especially if Berg is able to get more damage on him. And after this stuck, Wing's gonna fade away a lot sooner. That comeback factor he gets with Wing just is something that can't be underestimated. And I mean, like you said, if that does go away. He the, seems to be taking his sweet time, though. Yeah, Wing's going to be fine as long as Tofi doesn't uh, overextend too hard or take too many hits. No kill throws on Sephiroth. Uh, there's like only, there's like a setup he can do, but but that's basically read. Oh, that might be game. It is Definitely. game. And the Berg takes it. Like That's just like the power of Incineroar and the gamble you play when picking 